And now we come fast forward to where we are today and where we go from here. And Mark Pfeiffer, thank you uh, for being there. I got home last night, and Sheila, you're going to have to give me at least five more minutes. I rode a bumpy plane to come down here like Ron did often. I drove up here on my own. This is my third meeting today, and I got one more to go. So I'm going to take the time to get you to understand exactly what it is that I'm talking about. All right? I get home, and what do I see in the Miami Herald? I had three newspapers waiting for me. The Sun Sentinel, the West Side Gazette, a black paper, and the Miami Herald. I pick up the local and the state uh, budget uh, thing, uh, 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 section, and it says, Scott budget eliminates homeless aid. In addition to cutting the homelessness office, Scott's budget calls for moving trust funds that pay for indigent criminal defense and domestic violence and rape crisis programs into the general revenue coffers. He also wants to end programs that encourage state contracting with minority businesses, in parenthesis, women too are in that category, and suicide prevention efforts in public schools, footnote right there, so then I read the Sun Sentinel and what do I see? Suicide helpline calls rose last year. Suicide calls to the 211 helpline were more than 47% from 09 to 2010. And my good friend Mark Pfeiffer called him out, and this is what all of you need to be doing. Mark said it is probably the most callous, destructive, hurtful, archaic budget that you could put forward in a state like this. What is this state? doesn't have an income tax, and we have people that have come here that sent their children to school in New York and Pennsylvania and Illinois and paid taxes up the kazoo. And when they got down here, they didn't want to pay any more taxes. Now this man, who is a kazillionaire, he earned his money. He stole some of it, but he earned <laughs> some of it. And that he earned, or took advantage of, is a bad or better way of putting it, uh, than stole. But when you take advantage of people and you know you're taking advantage of them, they may not know you stole it, but you did. <laughs> so that said, he got wealthy, so he sells everything, the state claims, and he's telling everybody else all the programs that are going to be uh, put uh, to the side. Kelly Skidmore was in that room with Andrew and those because she knew that people like this were in charge. And not only is it that he's the governor in charge, but the people that are in the legislature ask back what though I think that they are, that are the leadership. And you tell them I said so. And if there's anybody here in the media, write it that I said that the Florida legislature Republicans generally are asked backwards. <laughs> Congress. 
And that's what the now organization, under the leadership of Terry O'Neill, and you, Meredith and Sheila, that's what you have to do. You have to get beyond coming to a lunch. And you have to get beyond the notion that Citizens United is going to give them a financial advantage. I sent an extra $200 to the pantry because I saw the pain with my own eyes of the people that have their needs of not being met by charitable giving. It was thought that if the charitable people who are rich would uh, get all of the damn money, that they would take care of the poor. Well, they haven't taken care of the poor up to now, and they're not about to if you look at what this governor is talking about, and if you look at what the, Flor the Florida legislature is about, and if you look in the United States Congress. So who can change it? Now can change it. When can now change it? Now they can change it. And why shouldn't they? If they don't change it, who? Then I say the who is now. And I'm not talking about then under Susan B. Anthony. I'm talking about standing on she and them line shoulders and putting Harriet Tubman right there with them when she said, ain't I a woman? And stood up with them having gone on to get slaves more times than one when she had the help of these same kind of Quakers like Susan B. Anthony. Yes, Kelly Skidmore, you've received an award that Catherine received. You've received an award that Catherine received that asked that people make contributions to this organization now and that they make contributions uh, to the uh, NAACP. The other question I ask, is it now or never? I choose now forever. Thank you.